This will describe how to download and use the Open Solver, which may be a good solution for those of you with um, Mac machines. If you search Google for Open Solver, or go to opensolver.org, you'll see this information about OpenSolver, which is an alternative to the solver that comes packaged with Excel. And if you go down the screen to where it says download opensolver.zip, It will open up uh, a zip file that you can save on your desktop. Mine saves in my temp directory, but what I did is go back and copy that folder and save it on my desktop so it was easier to find. Once that was on my desktop, I right click on it and extract all. And so now it's an unzipped folder on my desktop. Once that's done, if you go into Excel, Go to File, and then Options, and Add-ins. You'll see the option to manage Excel add-ins at the bottom. Once you get this pop-up screen with the add-ins, what you'll want to do is go to Browse, and then go to your desktop. And then find the folder that has the open solver. You'll click on this icon that looks like an Excel icon and says open solver. And click OK. Mine it gets this message, but you should not get this message the first time uh, that you go through this process. Because I've already used this on the machine. Now you'll see that Open Solver is in the list of add-ins available, and if it's not checked already, you can go ahead and check it and click OK. If you go to your data window now, there's another section up here that has Open Solver. I have here open uh, my model that's been developed for assignment 22, but there's no solver information in the model. The decision variables or changing cells just have starting values that I put in there. And so it's ready for me to use solver to try to find the minimum cost solution. What I'll do is go up to model on the data menu in the open solver area and click on the model option and it brings up a screen that looks quite a bit like just to make sure that last part got on the video the objective cell is the total cost and we're minimizing it for this solver variable cells is the term for decision variables or changing cells and what you need to do is Click on the box to the right, highlight the first range, which is the workers hired and fired, and then when the, with that highlighted, hold down the control key, highlight the second range, which is the overtime hours, keep the control key down, and highlight the third range.
which is the units produced. And then click on the small box that goes back to the model page. Then we add a constraint. So we've got three of them in this problem. One of our constraints is that the overtime hours used is less than or equal to the maximum overtime hours. And so we enter this in the boxes and then add it. We've got a constraint that the units available to meet demand is greater than or equal to demand. So we'll add that constraint. And then we've got a constraint that the units produced is less than or equal to the production capacity. We want to go ahead and make unconstrained variable cells non-negative. And if you click on uh, the solver, you want to make sure that the linear solver option uh, for the solver engine is checked. So now what we'll do is we'll save the model. And then we'll go back up to the open solver area here. And we'll choose this option, solve relaxation, which solves it without any integer or binary constraints because there aren't any in this particular problem. So if we click that, we get uh, the correct solution and the correct values for the changing cells. The open solver does change some of the formatting of the cells, and one thing I've noticed is that if you want to enter values in these cells where it's changed the formatting, you can do that, but sometimes you'll have to place the cursor in one of the cells, say, below that formatting, and then go in and just use your arrow keys to go up. And it just tends to work a little bit better that way.